ever pondered over the management of ventricular tachycardia? Picture a 65-year-old chap, we'll call him Mr. Smith, bears a track record of coronary artery disease and past myocardial infarction. One fine day, he ambles into the emergency department, moaning of palpitations and lightheadedness. Upon appearance, he's deemed to be in stable Nick, but the cardiac monitor discloses sustained monomorphic ventricular tachycardia. Initial assessment discloses her vital signs to be within normal limits, except for a heart rate of 170 beats per minute. An electrocardiogram ratifies the existence of monomorphic ventricular tachycardia with a wide QRS complex. Her blood chemistry, incorporating electrolytes and renal function, seems standard, and there are no signs of acute ischemia on her 12-lead ECG. What's our next move, mate? With Mr. Smith's steady-as-a-rock hemodynamic status, we're choosing to go with pharmacological therapy with amiodarone for rate control of that ventricular tachycardia. The amiodarone infusion protocol is as follows, eh? First off, give a loading dose of amiodarone, 5 mg per kilogram over 15 minutes. Now, for a 70 kg patient like Mr. Smith, this comes out to about 350 mg. Then, you'll want to start a continuous infusion of amiodarone at a rate of 1 mg per kilogram per hour for the next 6 hours. This is about 70 mg per hour for a 70 kg patient. Lastly, after the initial 6 hour period, you'll want to cut back the infusion rate to half a milligram per kilogram per hour for the following 18 hours. This comes out to about 35 milligrams per hour for a 70 kilogram patient, all right? To conclude, the handling of ventricular tachycardia encompasses initial examination, diagnostic evaluation, and treatment that commonly requires drug therapy. In this incident, amiodarone is selected due to the patient's stable hemodynamic condition. The amiodarone infusion protocol involves a loading dose, maintenance dose, and a decreasing dose, each meticulously calculated based on the patient's weight. Don't forget, appropriate management of ventricular tachycardia is essential. It's a condition that can be fatal if not correctly addressed. With the right treatment regimen established, patients like Mr. Smith can reclaim control of their heart rhythm and carry on with their lives. For simple medication dosage and infusion rate calculations, consider downloading the Dr. Med Made Easy app, available now on both iOS App Store and Google Play Store.